Welcome to Business and Finance, the community of those who want to become a millionaire. In today's video we will talk about cryptocurrency. New technologies favored by advances in cryptography that is the application of methods that serve to make a message understandable slash intelligible only to people authorized to read it and by the evolution of the internet are causing a radical change in the global economy with particular reference to the financial sector in terms of the methods of exchange of goods, services, and any financial activity. One of one of the most significant applications of digital technology to the financial sector is the birth and spread of cryptocurrencies, or virtual currencies, the best known of which is Bitcoin. What is a cryptocurrency? The term is made up of two words, crypto and currency. It is therefore a hidden currency, in the sense that it is visible slash usable only by knowing a specific computer code, the so-called public and private access keys, in even more technical language. For this reason it is defined as virtual, but it is generated and exchanged exclusively electronically. It is therefore not possible to find bitcoins in circulation in paper or metal format, some concepts traditionally used for legal tender currencies, such as that of wallet, have also been adapted to the context of virtual currencies, where we talk about digital slash electronic wallet, where there is consensus among the participants in the related transaction, can be exchanged in peer-to-peer -peer mode directly, without need for intermediaries, to purchase goods and services, as if it were legal tender in all respects. Another classification in use involves the division between closed, unidirectional and bidirectional virtual currency. The difference between the three cases lies in the possibility or not of being able to exchange the cryptocurrency for legal tender, or official currency or fiat currency, according to other common denominations, and in the type of goods slash services that can be purchased. Bitcoin, for example, is a bidirectional virtual currency as it can be easily converted to major official currencies and vice versa. Have coins and cryptocurrencies the same functions? We know that legal tender currencies are usually recognized as a unit of account, a commonly accepted means of payment and a store of value. Can a cryptocurrency perform the same functions? The high volatility of cryptocurrencies certainly does not allow the correct performance of the unit of account function. The prices of the main cryptocurrencies are subject to very large fluctuations, even within the same days. So it is highly inefficient, if not impossible, to price goods and services in cryptocurrency units. As regards the function of store of value, it must be considered that, as they have been designed, the more they are used for the payment of goods and services, the more they will increase in value. This is because the number of cryptocurrency units that can be produced is limited, the creation of new cryptocurrency is limited and decreases over time, it follows that the more transactions are settled in cryptocurrencies, the higher their value will be. Finally, they are not commodity money, that is, they do not also have a use function, such as gold for example. Instead, they could increasingly fulfill an exchange function in the near future. Cryptocurrencies have peculiar characteristics that distinguish them. The following are the constituent elements. A set of rules, called protocol, that is a computer code that specifies the way in which the participants can carry out transactions. A sort of ledger, distributed ledger or blockchain, which unchangeably preserves the history of transactions. A decentralized network of participants who update, store and consult the distributed ledger of the transactions, according to the rules of the protocol. What are a distributor ledger, a blockchain and the Bitcoin blockchain? A distributed ledger or blockchain, the latter name is generally associated with the use of Bitcoin and in Italian literally translates to chain of blocks, is an open and distributed ledger that can safely store transactions between two parties, verifiable and permanent. The participants in the system are defined as nodes and are connected to each other in a distributed manner. In essence, it is an ever-growing list of records, called blocks, which are linked together and secured through the use of cryptography. The data in a block are by their nature immutable, they cannot be retroactively altered without all subsequent blocks being modified. To do this, given the nature of the protocol and the validation scheme, the consent of the majority of the network would be required. The distributed nature and the cooperative model make the validation process particularly safe and stable, even though it has to resort to non-negligible times and costs, largely referable to the price of the electricity necessary to validate the blocks, 
This in the case of the blockchain of Bitcoin, and the computational capacity necessary to solve complex algorithmic calculations, an activity that is commonly referred to as mining. Authentication occurs through mass collaboration and is fueled by community interests. The blockchain is a public ledger of Bitcoin transactions in chronological order. It is used to permanently store Bitcoin transactions and to prevent the phenomenon of so-called double spending, to prevent it from spending Bitcoins more than once at the same time. As already observed, the blockchain is a set of blocks linked together. Each block is identified by a code, contains the inf information of a series of transactions, and contains the code of the previous block, so that it is possible to retrace the chain backwards. Up to the original block, a kind of DNA of Bitcoin transactions. All the nodes of the network store all the blocks and therefore the whole blockchain. Anyone can create a digital currency, so at any given moment there can be hundreds or even thousands of cryptocurrencies in circulation. To create slash distribute cryptocurrencies, a so-called initial coin offering, ICO, can be used. The first ICOs were launched to raise funds for new cryptocurrencies, while later the main purpose has become to directly finance business ideas. Risks The absence of a precise legal framework makes it impossible to implement effective legal and slash or contractual protection of the interests of users, who may, therefore, be exposed to having to suffer significant economic losses, for example in the event of fraudulent conduct, bankruptcy or cessation of activity of the online exchange platforms where personal digital wallets, so-called e-wallets, are kept. In a context of absence of disclosure obligations and transparency rules, exchange platforms are also exposed to high operational and security risks. In fact, unlike authorized intermediaries, they are not required to provide any guarantee of service quality. Nor must they comply with capital requirements or internal control and risk management procedures, with a consequent high probability of fraud and exposure to cybercrime. There are also counterparty, market, liquidity, and execution risks. On the other hand, the future possibility of an immediate conversion of bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies into official currency at market prices is lacking any guarantee. Having said that, the fundamental risks of cryptocurrencies are Number 1 They are volatile. Unexpected changes in market sentiment can lead to sharp and sudden price movements. Number 2 They are not regulated. Cryptocurrencies are currently not regulated by either governments or central banks. However, they have recently begun to attract more attention. Number 3 They are prone to theft and hacking There is no perfect way to prevent glitches, human errors, or hacking. They can be affected by forking or disruption. Cryptocurrency trading involves additional risks such as hard forking or disruption. You should familiarize yourself with these risks before trading these products. When a hard fork occurs, there may be substantial price volatility around the event, and we may suspend trading if we do not have reliable prices from the underlying market. What is the risk that scares you the most? Let us know in the comments. Nowadays many companies have decided to accept cryptocurrency payments, and the world we know is literally taking the path of digital currencies. But what are the risks of receiving CRYP currency payments? It is widely believed that cryptocurrencies provide criminal organizations with a new means of committing fraud, money laundering, and a host of other, other financial crimes. This may not have a direct impact on the majority of cryptocurrency investors, who do not intend to use this new technology to commit such crimes. However, investors who find themselves in the unfortunate position of being victims of financial crime do not currently have the same legal coverage as traditional victims of fraud. This problem increases the risks and is also related to the decentralized state of digital currencies. When a cryptocurrency exchange is attacked by hackers and customers cryptocurrencies are stolen, for example, there is no standard practice to recover missing funds. Digital currency investors therefore take a certain amount of risk by buying and holding cryptocurrency assets. What can you do now? Simple, subscribe to the channel to not miss new updates. Write us in the comments that other videos you would like to see, choose one of the methods we have listed for you, arm yourself with motivation, and get started. And get started.